KCR has failed uh, to fulfill the schemes or to fulfill the promises what he had made previously uh, in the last past 10 years. People have given the chance, but uh, he has failed. The people of Telangana are looking for the bigger perspective and a very positive perspective on Bharatiya Janata Party uh, governance in Telangana as well in for, for future. People are even not trusting on uh, the Congress Party, uh, Congress on Congress Party as well. Amit Shah has begun his massive rally here in Rajendra Nagar, which is on the outskirts of Hyderabad. As you can see behind me, uh, thousands of party workers, especially BJP workers and RS, RSS and other karyakartas have come here uh, all the way from various parts of the state. And remember, BJP has just one seat in the assembly constituency, uh, you know, in Telangana. Now they are planning to, uh, you know, spread its wings across the state for the last one month. There has been aggressive campaigning by the Saffron Party. They believe that uh, you know various uh, promises that's been given in the poll manifesto, including the UCC and also various welfare and development project, will work on the ground as of now. Uh, right now, uh, Amit Shah is campaigning in the Rajendra Nagar constituency in Hyderabad, and in the coming days, more uh, leaders from. Uh, the, uh, the BJP is expected to come here and campaign uh, for the BJP. Remember, uh, it's just six more days left for the, uh, the crucial assembly polls of uh, Telangana. And this state is extremely crucial as far as BJP is concerned because this, the party has already lost in Karnataka. And, uh, you know, making inroads in the neighboring state is something which the party is looking out for. We have with us Tokula Srinivas Reddy. Sir, uh, could you just tell me, as BJP uh, in Telangana, how is it looking this time around? Because last time you have just one seat and now you have strong contenders. One is the BRS and the Congress. How is the BJP looking at this? Uh, first thing you have to notice that people are not considering BRS party as a strong uh, uh, party this time in the elections because okay. people have lost their hope completely on the government. Right. Because the KCR has failed uh, to fulfill the schemes or to fulfill the promises what he had made previously. Uh, in the last past 10 years, people have given the chance, but uh, he has failed. So people have completely lost the trust on uh, the BRS party. So people have considering BJP as an extra alternative since because uh, the government, uh, the way the government actually, the, the governance of Bharatiya Janata Party and the uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi in India, yeah. today in the central government. So the people of Telangana are looking for the bigger perspective and a very positive perspective on Bharatiya Janata Party okay. uh, governance in Telangana as well in for, for future. Right. Sir, uh, but uh, what are the main uh, you know, promises that you're giving to the people of Telangana, uh, apart from the UCC uh, and other things? Because people should look for an alternative as far as why they should vote for the BJP, because Congress is also very strong here. How do you look at that? See, the, basically what the, uh, the uh, I can say the manifesto, what the, all the parties have come up. Yeah. So people have lost hope on the KCR governance, so they are not looking or they are not even considering the KCR manifesto for the right. future. But if you seen, if you are coming down with the Congress Party, the manifesto, what the freebies they have announced around yes. six guarantees. Yes. But the people have nowhere trust because previously 60 years the case, the Congress was governing here. The Congress has come come into the ruling power. At the end, even the last pass before KCR, the Congress was ruling here. So then also the people have got any have not got any benefits out of the governance. Right. And if you even see the Karnataka government after the Karnataka elections, yes. the government has formed uh, uh, the Congress government has formed uh, Congress Party has formed the government in Karnataka yes. as well. But even there, you can see all the six guarantees are not initiated yet. Right. Or even though initiated one or two guarantees also are not fulfilled completely. So people are all, already on the roads protesting against the government there in, the, in Karnataka. So uh, looking at that, people are even not trusting on uh, the Congress Party uh, Congress Congress Party as well. But where if you come up with the Bharatiya Janata Party yeah. manifesto, the manifesto is very practical, okay. which can be implemented and executed in a proper way. Okay. Uh, there is not much freebies. Okay. Apart from that, which can be actually uh, for the uh, you know uh, uh, a very good welfare for the, uh, of the people. So the manifesto is also inspired. The people are also inspired by the Bharatiya Janata Party manifesto in Telangana elections. Apart from that, the Telangana government, the way it's a ruling in Indian government uh, in the central government. So people are always look, all completely looking uh, uh, towards the BJP party against it. All the best. Sir. Thank you, sir. So there we have the BJP candidate, uh, Kotla Srinivas, already saying that there is an anti-incumbency factor that is set in, uh, in Telangana. And also they are not looking for up to Congress party because uh, the kind of freebies uh, and the promises which they have given to the people of Telangana, the people will not accept it. And hence, uh, the people of Telangana will accept the BJP. In Hyderabad, with Vijay Lal Pudwe, this is Vivek for the New India. For such fine news breaks and video features from ground on your mobile phones, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The New Indian, by clicking on the bell icon.
Also, follow us on the social media handles on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Koo.